sorry to cause an interruption is it possible to record this meeting no raghu at this at this point of time there is no recording device with me and it is not possible garav says yes oh yes i know bolo to record and full ke baithe ga record ring laga it is being recorded welcome interruption all the same <laughs> Uh, अमित ने मेरा काम काफी आसान कर दिया है uh, uh, मैं हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों अल्टरनेट uh, बोलने की कोशिश करूंगा क्योंकि uh, कुछ समय से uh, पिछले बार भी ये कुछ लिसनर्स ने हिंदी का की बात उठाई थी कि इंग्लिश में उनको दिक्कत होती है सो बिफोर आई गो इन टू द सब्जेक्ट i will just make an organizational announcement that uh, aipf uh, is going to hold its next seminar all india seminar national seminar in uh, bihar in patna and all the state uh, units they are requested to organize their meetings discussions and organizational conferences and so on and send reports थीम हैज ऑलरेडी बिन सर्कुलेटेड और वो सभी स्टेट यूनिट्स और लोकल यूनिट्स अपने रिपोर्ट्स भेजें रिपोर्ट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज और मीटिंग्स करें प्रिपरेटरी टू ऑल इंडिया सेमिनार एंड एनी अदर एक्टिविटीज नाउ कमिंग टू दी सब्जेक्ट टूडे सब्जेक्ट एज अमित हैज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन is a brain computer interface or brain machine interface some questions some social and philosophical questions ab mai iske bahut zyada technical details mein nahi ja raha hu uh computer revolution ke baad खास करके पिछले 30 से 40 वर्षों के बीच में इन द लास्ट 30 टू 40 इयर्स थ्री टू फोर डिकेट्स वी आर गोइंग थ्रू ए वेरी बिग फंडामेंटल साइंटिफिक एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज हैविंग अ डीप इंपैक्ट ऑन द टूल्स दैट वी आर यूजिंग द मींस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड मींस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ये जो साइंटिफिक और टेक्नोलॉजिकल रेवोल्यूशन चल रहा है जिसके जिसका हम हिस्सा है जिसके थ्रू हम गुजर रहे हैं उसका बहुत गहरा असर हमारे टूल्स पर हमारे औजारों पर हमारे उत्पादन और संचार माध्यमों पर बहुत गहराई से पड़ रहा है these uh, changes are deeply affecting the way we live the way we think the way we produce communicate and so on and so forth in parivartano ka ye ek tarah ki kranti hai ye revolution hai waisa hi jaise industrial revolution hai jo bar bar main emphasize karta hu apne jab kabhi mauka milta hai to और हम उसके ज, उसके उसमें उससे गुजर रहे हैं और इसका बहुत बड़ा असर हमारे ऊपर पड़ रहा है हमारे व्यक्तिगत सामाजिक आर्थिक राजनीतिक और दार्शनिक इस सारे जीवन पर इन सारी गतिविधियों पर इन चीजों का बहुत गहरा असर पड़ रहा है और बहुत सारे लोग बहुत सारे इंटेलेक्चुअल्स बुद्धिजीवी इसको समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि ये असर क्या पड़ रहा है और हम इन्हें कैसे समझें ए आई पिछले शुरू से ही इनफैक्ट लगातार जो नए नई चीजें हैं हमारे समाज में और खास करके साइंस में टेक्नोलॉजी में उसका एक साइंटिफिक एनालिसिस साइंटिफिक तरीके से उसे समझने की कोशिश कर रहा है आत्मसात करने की कोशिश कर रहा है वी हैव बीन ट्राइंग कॉन्स्टेंटली to assimilate the new developments new discoveries in all the fields 
and i think bci or brain machine uh, brain computer interface and uh, human computer interface is one of the fundamental discoveries uh, which are deeply affecting our <coughs> life uh, amit ne kuch baatein uh, प्लेस की है मैं बहुत सरल भाषा में जो नए लोग हैं हम सभी इंक्लूडिंग माई सेल्फ वी आर ऑल न्यू टू दिस सब्जेक्ट वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हम ये जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस होता क्या है और इसका फिर हमारे थॉट प्रोसेस पर क्या असर पड़ता है ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस में सर्टन इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड चिप्स आर प्लेस्ड इन सर्टन एरिया ऑफ द ब्रेन इन एन एरिया ऑफ ब्रेन कंट्रोलिंग द इंटेंशंस टू मूव चिप्स आर प्लेस्ड इन एन एरिया ऑफ ब्रेन कंट्रोलिंग द इंटेंशंस टू मूव हमारे दिमाग के मस्तिष्क के खास हिस्से में चिप्स या माइक्रोचिप्स जैसे न्यूरोचिप्स भी कहते हैं या और इलेक्ट्रोड्स डालकर ऑपरेट करके उस एरिया में लगाया जाता है लगाने की कोशिश हो रही है जो जो एरिया हमारे इंटेंशन को तय करती है हमारे हम क्या करना चाहते हैं उस एरिया को तय करती है ब्रेन के अलग अलग हिस्से डिवीजन ऑफ लेबर है उसमें डिवीजन है डिवीजन ऑफ वर्क है ब्रेन के अलग अलग हिस्से अलग अलग काम करते हैं आ, कोई भाषा समझता है कोई इंटेंशन समझता है कोई रिफ्लेक्ट करता है इत्यादि इत्यादि और ब्रेन के जो अलग अलग हिस्से हैं वो शरीर के अलग अलग हिस्सों से जुड़े होते हैं different areas of brain have their own different functions and there is an area which controls intentions to move intentions to move jaise maan liya ki hum sochte hain ki ha bhai ab ye saman uthana hai ye kalam uthani hai ye brain ka ek khas hissa hame direct karta hai hum is ghadi ko ya hum is kalam ko dekhte hain aur tab mera haath uthta hai और हम हाथ उठाकर उस वस्तु को कलम को या घड़ी को हम उठाते हैं या हटाते हैं इस तरह से हमारा ब्रेन काम करता है देर आर न्यूरोन से स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सेल्स इन आवर ब्रेन विच आर कॉल्ड न्यूरोन्स एन ई यू आर ओ एन एस न्यूरोन न्यूरोन्स न्यूरोन एक स्पेशल टाइप का uh, सेल है इट इज स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ सेल हाईली स्पेशलाइज सेल दाइएस्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल सेल्स डेवलप सो फार विच कंट्रोल्स द कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल इट इज वेरी हाईली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सेल इट हैज थ्रेड्स इसमें से थ्रेड्स निकलते हैं जो अलग अलग दूसरे सेल्स के साथ जुड़े रहते हैं तो एक न्यूरॉन कई न्यूरॉन्स के साथ जुड़ा होता है कई और और सेल्स के साथ जुड़े होते हैं वी नीड नॉट गो इन टू ऑल दो डिटेल्स बट टू सिंपली अंडरस्टैंड द न्यूरॉन्स आर स्पेशलाइज सेल्स कम्युनिकेटिंग दिग्नल्स ऑफ आवर एक्टिविटी suppose we look at a, at a tree the tree is green so this picture this signal this transformed into signal uh, and this signal is uh, conveyed through the neurons and then uh, our eyes uh, and from eyes from retina to our brain and then we come to the conclusion we come to understand uh, this this is tree and the tree is green 
or brown or yellow or whatever red flowers or blue flowers and all that so uh, scientists have come to the conclusion that our activity for example seeing activity of seeing can be converted is convertible into biological biochemical and biophysical activities into electrical and electromagnetic signals so act of seeing is can be converted is convertible it is being found that these act, the act of seeing is uh, biochemical biophysical and so on and so forth so it can be taken even to the quantum level so development of quantum sciences uh, is greatly helpful development of uh, nuclear sciences development of atomic sciences are greatly helpful to understand how our thoughts are created thought process kisi cheez ko dekhna aur dekh kar ke usse thought vichar paida hona paida karna ab science science is position par aa gaya hai aata ja raha hai ki hum usse physical material processes mein convert karte ja rahe actually hum science is position mein aa raha hai hum bata sakte hain कि हमारा जो थॉट प्रोसेस है हमारी जो विचार प्रक्रिया है वह एक फिजिकल मटेरियल विचार प्रक्रिया है विचार उसी से पैदा होते हैं पहले क्या होता था इंडस्ट्रियल इससे पहले इस साइंस के पिछले फेजेस में या इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन के समय जो साइंसेस डेवलप होते हैं हम सिर्फ ये कह सकते थे कि हम जो देखते हैं और हमारे जो पांच इंद्रियां हैं हमारे जो हमारी जो सेंस परसेप्शन है दैट इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस एंड द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस एक्टिंग ऑन आवर सेंस परसेप्शन क्रिएट थॉट्स दैट वाज द जनरल स्टेटमेंट गिवन बाय द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन एंड साइंसेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज डेवलप ड्यूरिंग द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन and all our uh, philosophies social sciences and uh, materialist and idealist philosophies and so on and so forth our world view was created on the basis of this simple act or this simple concept this simple concept that the world around us impacts our sense perceptions and giving rise to our thoughts so matter impacts our brain and leads to creation of consciousness in certain other philosophies like idealist philosophies there, there is a mixture of uh, various kinds of uh, approaches including saying that uh, since i think the world is there main sochta hu isliye world hai अब ये आ, अलग अलग किस्म के जो आइडियाज हैं ये आइडियाज नाउ द साइंटिस्ट आर रिजॉल्विंग दोज प्रोसेस दे आर गिविंग ए सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दोज प्रोसेस ना बी सी आई और ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिटेटिवली न्यू रेवोल्यूशनरी स्टेप to understand the production of uh, or creation of thoughts uh what happens in to put it very simply uh, as amit has uh, told as described uh, ab kya ho raha hai what is what is happening what is new in this pehle hum haath pair hilate the और uh, उससे काम करते थे अब क्या हो रहा है व्हाट इज द न्यू इन दिस नाउ दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी न्यू साइंस 
way back in 1924, the use of electrocephalogram uh, started basically this process. Aaj bhi, uh, medical science may EEG or electrocephalogram is used to measure or to understand the brain uh, waves in the brain. Um, generally, electricity was used during those times. This term, brain computer interface, was first used by a scientist named Jack Vidal in 1973. Jack Vidal in 1973. His beach may experiments chale hai, hue hai. <clears throat> in the last two decades, a number of experiments have been uh, conducted particularly in the field of medical sciences, particularly on those who are patients, who are brain patients, who are mental patients, or are mentally disabled. Their uh, conditions here can be improved by using brain-computer interface and brain-human interface. And those areas of brain can be improved uh, 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 for example, in the year 2021, experiments were created in which the patient could write on computer screen. Computer screen par wo lik sakta tha, usne likha, us, us patient ne 86 characters per minute or 18 words per minute simply by looking at the computer screen, not moving the mouse, not pressing the keys, but simply by looking at the computer screen, he created 86 characters, that is ABCD, or the characters means ABCD and all that kind of thing, or spaces, or 18 words per minute. Before and since then, lot of uh, such uh, experiments have been conducted in which the person can simply looking at the at the screen can write uh, sentences and uh, words and all that. Suppose you want to write, आप लिखना चाहते हैं All India Progressive Forum. तो आपको कलम यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है. आपको कीबोर्ड यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है. आप सिर बैठते हैं, सोचते हैं और All India Progressive Forum उस पर लिखा जाता है स्क्रीन पर, कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन पर। So this is without using your hands. ये कैसे होता है? How how is it done? जो चिप ब्रेन में उस खास जगह में लगाया जाता है, उस चिप से इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिंग और magnetic and other kinds of waves are transmitted. So that chip acts as the neuron cells. On one chip, there can be many neuron cells. For example, 16 neuron cells can be embedded on a single microchip. That is directly connected with the software. Consequently, your hand and other body parts are not necessary. They are rendered superfluous. Our hand, pair, body, ke dusre hisson ki jarurat yahan nahi padti hai. Aap sirf dekhte hain jab hamare dimag par, hamare dimag ke andar wo chip lagaye jata hai, electrode lagaye jata hai, aur ye lagaye jata hai robot ke jariye. Robo is used in implanting these chips. So, simply by uh, thinking, when you think, those signals are conveyed to the computer and things can be, words can be written. In the latest, ex latest development of uh, Neuralink and other things, uh, you, you can move the mouse or you can move the keyboard or you can move many objects tangible objects can be moved simply by thinking 
intangible objects can be moved by intangible thinking. This is a new revolutionary development of far-reaching implications. So this is the revolution that has taken place in the year 2024. And I think this is the beginning of a uh, new phase of uh, computer science. This has been become this has become possible because there is a continuous coming together, continuous unity of biological, physical, chemical, electrical, electronic, computing, quantum, etc. kinds of signals. They are becoming one. Quantum. Uh, processes are taking place in our own body also. So the quantum physics is now getting, uh, uh, is discovering, is working, is getting united with the quantum processes within our body, or electronic processes, or electrical processes, and so on and so forth. So this unity, this combination, this collapse of various kinds of sciences, various kinds of processes that were discovered in different areas of sciences. New technology has made it possible to bring them together and to uh, create new kinds of technologies, new kinds of means, new kinds of tools. New tools are being tools ke jariye hum in sare processes ko jo pehle alag alag the, jinke liye alag alag tools lagte the ab hum ek hi tool ya similar tool ke jariye hum unka istemal kar sakte hain ye ek bahut bada development hai aur brain computer interface uh, is uh, making it possible to uh, move the objects via software uh, move the tangible objects solid objects uh, via uh, software so therefore, uh, I think uh, we should not in any way underestimate the new developments. Hamare under bahasare loon ke under ye tendency hai ki ham naye jo developments hote hain technology me science me usko underestimate karte hain usko we take it as if it is just another event of the day, another day. But uh, uh, we are living in a, in, in, a, in a world, we are living in a phase of social development, we are living in a phase of scientific development and technological development, which every day is bringing new discoveries, new inventions, discoveries as well as inventions. Khoj or Nirman, Naya Nirman, Hargin Hora hai, Jisse Hame Samajne ki Zarurat hai. We need to understand them. Not only we need to understand them, we need to assimilate the implications of them for our thought processes, for our consciousness. And therefore, now I come to the uh, other side of uh, the question. That is the that is the implication. That is the uh, impact of these development, this development and these developments on philosophy and consciousness formation. Now here I want to uh, make a few points. Uh, for the first time in the history of philosophy and in the history of science, Alibar, for the first time, we are able to uh, materialize thoughts. We are able to convert thought processes into material uh, to show uh, that they are material processes. They are physical processes. This is a very revolution, a very big development, which is a very big effect on our consciousness. Par when we say consciousness, 
that means uh, uh, our there are two two basic questions that emerge here the relationship between matter and idea the question arises, arises how idea is being created so it is being proved today that idea concretely is be, being created through material processes today science and technology can show it can prove it it is no more a laboratory question no more an experiment being done in the laboratory it is it is becoming a social force with the development of computers with the development of electronics a revolution in thought processes a revolution in understanding how thoughts and consciousness are created that is happening before our own eyes and therefore we can resolve the question at a higher level of the relation between matter and idea this is one uh, uh, aspect of uh, the present developments and new aspect and it is it has the revolutionary implications we can resolve what is thought we can answer concretely not just philosophically but concretely what is consciousness we can answer the question uh, concretely how consciousness human consciousness individual as well as social because conscious is never individual alone it is social also individual consciousness is part and parcel of social consciousness vyakti ki chetna samajik chetna ka hi hissa hoti hai lekin aaj jo tools hain wo vyaktigat bante ja rahe hain pura samaj usko create kar raha hai bana raha hai isliye hamara hamari jo vyaktigat chetna hai wo samajik chetna ka hissa hai samajik chetna vyaktigat chetna se milke banti hai this is being proved by the uh, inventions like brain computer interface and brain uh, and human computer interface the other question is and that is also very important that is the question of subject object relation a philosophical question a lot of work is being done has been done in last uh, four decades even before that even today a lot of research is going on i am not going on to all those details it is very limited a new kind of subject is being created philosophy mein aur social science mein ye ek relationship hai subject object relationship karta aur vastu ka sambandh karta karta yani subject mai ये कलम उठा रहा हूं मैं करता हूं आई एम ए सब्जेक्ट माई रिलेशनशिप विद दिस पेन और दिस वॉच इज दैट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड पेन इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन माई सब्जेक्ट एंड एज ए सब्जेक्ट आई पिक अप दिस पेन एंड मूव इट एल्सवेयर सो ये जो रिलेशनशिप है जो इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन में एक तरह का था आज के कंप्यूटर वर्ल्ड में इसमें दूसरे तरह का रिलेशन बनता जा रहा है इन एडिशन टू द डायरेक्ट रिलेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट विद द टेंजिबल ऑब्जेक्ट देर इज ए रिलेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट विद द इमेज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट सो इन द कंडीशन इन विच इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स आर बींग Uh, created is emerging it is theoretically possible to convert all the objects into images of the objects and therefore relation of the subject with the object is not only direct but increasingly indirect so it is a subject subject relationship which is in fact subject object relationship so there is a rapid uh change in the uh, time and space uh, relation with the subject hamara jo hamara jo hamari jo chetna hai 
मेरी जो चेतना है हम सभी की जो चेतना है वह वस्तु कहाँ रखी हुई है कितनी देर के लिए रखी हुई है उसके साथ जुड़ी हुई है हमारा जो हमारी ये जो चेतना है ये इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन के दौरान बनी है लेकिन आज क्या हो रहा है आज ये स्पेस जो स्पेस पहले फैला हुआ था इट वॉज अ वाइड स्प्रेड स्पेस एंड आवर कॉन्शियसनेस वॉज क्रिएटेड इन इन अ वेरी वाइड स्पेसेस ऑफ अर्थ कंडीशन एंड स्पेस कंडीशन एंड सो ऑन एंड ऑर्डरली डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टाइम टूडे दैट हैज कोलेप्सड दैट हैज बिकम वेरी फास्ट कोलेप्स मीन्स नॉट डिसअपियर्ड बट इट हैज बिकम वेरी फास्ट now i was just want to give uh, uh, some figures okay how uh, the time is changing time in the formation of uh, consciousness how it matters very much uh this year nobel prize has been given for the for the discovery of attoseconds attosecond aap sabhi ne suna hoga padha hoga nobel prize mila hai तीन साइंटिस्टों को फॉर डिस्कवरिंग एटो सेकेंड वन नैनो सेकेंड इज वट इज एटो सेकेंड वन नैनो सेकेंड इज इक्वल टू वन बिलियन ऑफ ए सेकेंड एक नैनो सेकेंड एक सेकेंड का अरवा हिस्सा होता है वन सेकेंड वन ट्रिलियन ऑफ ए सेकेंड एक सेकंड का खरबवा हिस्सा ट्रिलियन ऑफ ए सेकेंड देन देर आर अदर सेकेंड ऑल्सो फेमटो सेकेंड वन क्वाड्रिलियन ऑफ ए सेकेंड दैट इज वन मिलियन ऑफ ए नैनो सेकेंड एंड नाउ दिस इज द लेटेस्ट एटो सेकेंड वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स smaller and smaller slices of time hamara jo science hai hamara jo technology hai hamara hamara hum jo rehte hain hum jo sochte hain hamare jo consciousness banta ja raha hai wo kam se kam samay mein aur kam se kam space mein badi tezi se banta ja raha hai very little time is available for the formation of consciousness we are moving to the towards the quantum limits quantum limits mein kya hai one is planck length planck was max planck was a was a scientist quantum particle the so, max planck length planck length hai uh, 10 to the power minus 33 cm 10 per आप 33 जीरोस लगा दीजिए तो उतने सेंटीमीटर ये पॉइंट के बाद उसको कहते हैं प्लैंक लेंथ लाइट लाइट टेक्स 10 टू दी पावर माइनस फोर्टी थ्री सेकेंड्स टेन टू दी पावर माइनस फोर्टी थ्री सेकेंड टू क्रॉस दिस लेंथ दिस इज द स्पेस एंड टाइम वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स दिस इज द फ्यूचर these quantum measurements are not only uh, theoretical and laboratory uh, matters they are rapidly being converted into technology or technology ka tool ka hamare day to day ke life ka hissa bante ja rahe hain ab hamara hamara jo consciousness ab tak bana hai wo kis mein bana hai our consciousness has been formed in millions of years lakhs of years in uh, decades in hours in days that is how we are that is that is how we are uh, our consciousness has been formed that is uh, what we are used to but hence forward in future our consciousness will be formed in not only minutes and seconds but in divisions of seconds and therefore that kind of consciousness uh, uh, will create new problems bahut sare scientists ne bahut sare philosophers ne 
सब्जेक्ट जो हमारा सब हम जो है हम जो करता है सब्जेक्ट है एंड सब्जेक्टिविटी के ट्रांजिटरीनेस उसके जो अस्थिरता है उसका जो क्षणिक रूप है मोमेंटरी नेचर ऑफ मॉडर्न एंड पोस्ट मॉडर्न सब्जेक्ट उसके बारे में काफी कुछ लिखा है uh, मैंने अपनी किताब में जो uh, किताब दिस बुक वॉज पब्लिश इन सम टेन ईयर्स अगो पार्टिकल एंड फिलोसफी इन क्राइसिस उस पर एक बहुत छोटा चैप्टर है ऑन दैट चैप्टर इंसिडेंटली इज ऑन ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर एंड ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस दिस दिस वाज रिटन इन द ईयर 2012 एंड आई हैव मेंशनड मार्क पोस्टर एंड सम अदर ऑथर्स एंड आई हैव आल्सो गिवन माय ओन आइडियाज पोस्टर राइट्स कंप्यूटर साइंस is a discourse at the border of words and things hamara jo discourse ab hai wo discourse yani vicharon ka nirman vicharon ka aadan pradan vicharon ka development vicharon ka vikas it is at the border of words and things a new kind of uh, इसको कहते हैं फिलोसफी में मैट्रिक्स न्यू काइंड ऑफ मैट्रिक्स इज बीइंग क्रिएटेड न्यू काइंड ऑफ बेस इज बीइंग क्रिएटेड जिसके आधार पर हमारा विचार बनता है बनना शुरू हुआ है इसे हमें इसकी इसको ग्रास्प करने की जरूरत है इसे समझने की जरूरत है और हमारे हमारे विचार नए कंडीशन में कैसे बन रहे हैं उन्हें Uh, समझ करके uh, आगे बढ़ने की जरूरत है uh, इसी चैप्टर में uh, लिखा गया है अबाउट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड एंड लैंग्वेज द इवेंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड माइंड इज अ जॉइंट स्टेप इन ह्यूमन इवोल्यूशन जब हम देखते हैं स्क्रीन पर और देख करके लिखते हैं जब हम देख करके किसी वस्तु को मूव करते हैं व्हेन वी मूव एन ऑब्जेक्ट जस्ट बाय लुकिंग आईटी इट ऑन द स्क्रीन थ्रू आवर थ्रू द माइक्रोचिप्स एम्बीडेड इन आवर आवर ब्रेन एंड दोज माइक्रोचिप्स आर गोइंग टू बिकम वेरी वेरी सिमिलर टू द न्यूर सेल्स इन फ्यूचर so this is what i have called and uh, some uh, some others are also called as objectification of human mind our thoughts become objective they take on the form of object uh, form of objective things then this is a new stage in the development of human evolution uh, it is uh, embedded with huge uh, uh implications in future use potentials the potential of human mind is increasing we are we are entering into a field where a new kind of old subjectivity and old subject is 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 disorganized it is displaced is getting displaced and a new subject naya karta new kind of consciousness is emerging a consciousness a subject and a subjectivity which is uh, rapidly being dis, uh, uh, being created uh, by new developments in science and technology which is rapidly replacing the old kind of subject creating new kind of subject and new kind of uh, consciousness uh, which have the potentials to create new revolutionary objective world thank you very much uh thank you so much sir for your informative thoughts and there are many things you have uh, raised also and uh, it is coming to my mind that i can ask 
man, too many questions, but I'm not going to ask questions because audience are huge. And of course, they are going to ask too many questions, which will clear my mind also. So now forum is open for all of you. Sabke liye forum open hai. Bas ek request hai ki audience kafi hai. So, thoda sa brief comment ho, brief opinion ho, brief question ho. So that the uh, speaker could get a time to reply adequately also. So, first of all, uh, Vijay Marla, sir. Sir, please unmute and go ahead, sir. Then, Nabab, be ready. Nabab, then after. Sir, Vijay, sir. You, sir. About 15 years back, Stephen Hawking, a paralyzed scientist, he was given a BCI, a brain computer interface. They have provided a sensor camera. Nothing was implanted in his brain. I provided a camera. By his blinking of the eyes, it will convert that into sentences. So he gave a lot of lectures only <laughs> by this method. So this computer interface is as Arilji said. It is there since 50 years. Experiments are going on. But we should understand one thing that only select activity can pick up his BCI chips. Not the whole brain can be controlled or the brain, whole activity of the brain cannot be released. So, this kind of objectification of ideas is an old one. Nothing revolutionary about it. Even our normal activity of thinking and the typing is also a BCA. We are interfacing with the computer. Okay. Now there are at least one trillion neurons in the human brain. One trillion. And they will be rapidly communicating with each other. All our memories are stored in that. It is physically, if not technologically, possible to reproduce the output of each neuron. Only you can touch the surface, some places you can touch, but not the whole of the neurons. And uh, Ray Kurzweil, sometime back he talked about implanting sensors for each neuron and picking up signals. It will make the size of the brain double, which is impractical. So nobody is now talking about it. <coughs> so it is not physically possible to completely reproduce the brain's activity into a computer. Let us understand that. Then, besides medical, social, philosophical implications, equally important is the moral implications. For a sick person to enable him to control the virus around him and lead some kind of a active life is very positive, it's a great step. But at the same time, when such implants are made in a human brain, normal human brain, active human brain, there's an argument that Human brains can be controlled using this. 
your brain activity can be controlled from outside from a different source something like a matrix film where every human being is a kind of a puppet he cannot decide anything he is his life is already decided by a superior power so this can lead to that this is a kind of argument that uh, people like avi leob harvard professor are raising so this moral implications of that uh, is to be taken as a first step unless some moral guidelines are formulated we should not uh, venture ahead on this now coming to this quantum process let us be very careful when we use the word quantum quantum uncertainty is there collapse of wave function these are all questions which are still being debated 100 years after that and a beautiful quotation given by einstein is that if we are not able to understand the behavior of quantum process it means that quantum process or what do you call that uh, by chance it happens by chance or if you observe something it changes that is not correct we understand very little about the properties of matter that is why this kind of uncertainty is creeping in so as time passes our knowledge of material increases today we are not able to clearly define what is the internal structure of an atom really science is not able to decide that we know only that electrons are rotating around just like planets are rotating around the sun that is a wrong picture so we still don't know that we don't know even 1% of material qualities so we cannot talk about quantum process at this stage then we have to have very clear guidelines say a healthy person can help it can help a handy person while driving a car he can control all the devices in the house by the time he comes back he can make it get his food ready such things are all what the so popular science will be writing about but as marxists we have to understand the moral philosophical and social it is <laughs> at a very infant stage thank you thank you so much for uh, thank you so much sir for uh, giving your opinion and comment any uh, brief comment from side of anil rajmole sir if you want anil rajmole sir <coughs> yeah science is a, is a continuously developing technology is continuously developing and i think jo naya development ho raha hai usko hame lagatar assimilate karna hai aur apne thought apne consciousness mein usko uska hissa banana hai hum purane dhang se ab nahi soch sakte we have to give up uh the old way of approaching things because things are becoming more and more intangible processes intangible processes are becoming processes which uh, we are using in our thing uh, now uh, many now uh, a section of scientists they are trying to ever including in china they are trying to develop quantum computers we are on to the phase where com- there will be not only computers but people are talking about computer uh, quantum computers which are absolutely qualitatively different kinds of computer will be different kinds of computers 
and so on and so forth. Uh, I think uh, the way our consciousness is being formed, the way uh, we approach philosophical questions, the way we approach social questions uh, are going to be, are already becoming qualitatively different. Yes, any other comment and Nabab, question? Nawab, Nawab Pathan. Sir, after Nawab, I will take uh, Railus's comment or question. Nawab Pathan, Nawab Pathan, please proceed. Jee. आप अपना कैमरा कैमरा ओपन कर लीजिए वीडियो कैमरा ताकि आपको हम लोग देख सके इट विल बी गुड फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस और इफ देयर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम सर मैं ये पूछ रहा था आपने पेन चिप जो बनाया जा रहा है एलन मस्क की कंपनी के द्वारा वो अगर बन जाता है तो साइंस के क्षेत्र में निश्चित रूप से एक बहुत बड़ा क्रांति होगा लेकिन इससे आम लोगों के जनजीवन पे क्या प्रभाव पड़ेगा इस पे सर थोड़ा सा आप डिस्कशन कर जैसे गरीब मजदूर हैं किस लाइफ पे इसका क्या असर इसका वही असर पड़ेगा जो कंप्यूटर के डेवलपमेंट होने से पड़ा है जब कंप्यूटर नया नया आया था तो बहुत लोगों ने उसको नहीं समझा था बहुत लोगों ने उसको बिल्कुल इग्नोर किया था कि ये कुछ थोड़े से लोगों का टूल uh, है या कुछ बहुत उस समय uh, ये बहुत कीमती भी हुआ करता था शुरू शुरू में बड़े बड़े कंप्यूटर्स हुआ करते थे लेकिन आज कंप्यूटर क्या है आज हमारे जीवन का हिस्सा है हम रेलवे रिजर्वेशन करते हैं तो कंप्यूटर के जरिए करते हैं आज कहीं पेमेंट करते हैं इधर उधर जाते हैं बहुत सारे हमारे कामों में ज्यादा से ज्यादा कंप्यूटर का इस्तेमाल हो रहा है उसी तरह से ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस ये खास करके मेडिकल साइंसेज में आ, इलाज के लिए पेशेंट्स के लिए ये ज्यादा से ज्यादा उपयोगी साबित होता जा रहा है और ये हमारी बहुत सारी बीमारियों को दूर कर रहे हैं खास करके दिमाग और ब्रेन से जुड़ी हुई चीजों को दूर कर रहे हैं और आम लोगों के लिए बहुत ही उपयोगी साबित होने जा रहा है वैसे ही जैसे कि कंप्यूटर uh, uh, सभी के लिए उपयोगी साबित हो रहा है इसलिए कोई भी नए टेक्नोलॉजी को और नए साइंस को हमें uh, उसकी उसको इग्नोर नहीं करना चाहिए उसकी उपेक्षा नहीं करनी चाहिए अभी से हमें देख करके समझ करके उसका जो आगे फैलाव हो, होने वाला है uh, उसका जो उपयोग है uh, उसे समझना चाहिए और उसके होने वाले दुरुपयोग का भी ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी को का गलत ढंग से इस्तेमाल ना हो जैसे कि लोगों पर जासूसी करने सर्वेलेंस करने और इस तरह की चीजों का विरोध किया जाना चाहिए और इस तरह की चीज जब हम समझेंगे इस तरह की टेक्नोलॉजी को तभी हम इसका इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सही और गलत इस्तेमाल का विरोध कर सकते हैं थैंक यू सर डॉक्टर रायलू सर प्लीज सर क्योंकि ऑब्जेक्ट का रिलेशनशिप यही बताया ना तो तो अगर आ, हम अब तक ये आ, समझते आए कि हमारी आंखें जो है दे आर लेंस एंड दे गेट द इमेज ऑफ थिंग्स वी डोंट हैंडल द सब ऑब्जेक्ट एज सच वी हैंडल द इमेज ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ इट्स इमेज इज देयर आवर लेंस टेक्स द फोटोग्राफ एंड इट कंपेयर्स इट with the bank of information that we have in our mind jo hamare paas accumulated information hai jaise anil ke paas bahut information hai isliye agar wo koi bhi cheez dekhega to he can easily explain it mere paas bilkul nahi hai bag khali hai bilkul hum backer to mere mai bilkul agyan ki tarah bas i will be just looking at to ye jo interface jo hai isme 
इस बैंक का क्या रोल होगा हाउ इट विल एकट इट्स इंफॉर्मेशन दूसरी बात मैं ये कह रही थी कि इसमें ओरिजिनलिटी का कहाँ से जगह होगा हम जो अभी अपनी कॉन्शियस अपनी कॉन्शियसनेस में भी कीप ऑन थिंकिंग मेनी थिंग्स एंड सम न्यू थिंग्स कम कम्स इन माई माइंड एंड विच नो वी हैज ए टिल नाउ थॉट अबाउट अट इमेजिन अबाउट इट बट दैट हैज जस्ट कम टू माई माइंड दैट हैपन्स वेन द कॉन्शियसनेस प्रोसेस गोज इन ए डायलेक्टिकल प्रोसेस यू गो थ्रू assertion and negations and move on and then the synthesis comes that synthesis will be a new completely new thing and that can be totally different from those two earlier uh, thesis and antithesis but at the same time it will be a new thing also so that possibility of having a new thing ye jo dandwad ka rasta hai jo nished aur swikriti ke sath aage badhta hai उन दोनों उसमें दोनों ही चीजें होती हैं जो नई चीज आती है थर्ड लेकिन वो थर्ड जो चीज होती है वो अपने आप में भी एक नई होती है तो अगर हमने चिप ही लगा लिया यहाँ पे तो फिर हम आई डोंट नो हाउ फॉर विल रीच और इसी से जुड़ी बात तीसरी है कि हमारी प्राइवेसी का क्या हमारा दिमाग तो अनंत है uh, मैं एक बहुत बड़े डॉक्टर को जानती थी जिन्होंने कहा कि ब्रेन का हम सिर्फ दस जान सकते हैं अभी तक only 10% if we have if, if we don't know the 90% 90% then how can we uh, go on experiment about it that agar hum kar rahe hain to usme kya khatra hai andhere mein dhera phekne wala khatra hai kya ye bhi sochne wali baat hai aur ek aur baat main yahan kehna chahti hu ki bahut si baatein aisi hoti hai ki usne bola ki ye jo hota hai surveillance ka तो वो तो फिर वो किसी को मेरा चुकी प्राइवेसी नहीं रहा कुछ भी तो वन विल नॉट एवर लुक एट मी एंड नो वॉट एवर इज गोइंग ऑन ये इसका बहुत सारा दूर तक रास्ता तय हो चुका है तो तो, तो इंटरोगेशन नहीं करते हैं लोग आजकल उसके पहले ही दे नो एवरीथिंग पुरकाश जेल में है ना बैठा हुआ प्रवीर पुरकाश तो ये वाला तुम्हारा क्या है कौन सा वो वेबसाइट आ, प्रवीण पुरकार सी ऑल नो हुआ वो अभी इतना बड़ा कांड हुआ उसका तो उसको जब ले गए इंट्रोग्रेशन करने के लिए उनके पास सारे इंफॉर्मेशन थे जटिल से जटिल एंड इनर से इनर इससे भी आगे बढ़ रहे हैं वो अब अनिल ने जो बताया उससे तो लगता है कि वो और भी आगे बढ़ जाएंगे तो फिर दुनिया में प्राइवेसी नाम की कोई चीज है रहेगी या नहीं इंडिविजुअल का अस्तित्व होगा या नहीं विल इट बी गो ऑन जनरलाइजिंग थिंग्स वॉट अबाउट दी वन एंड अनिल सर एवरी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी हैज इट्स ओन निगेटिव साइड ऑल्सो दैट डज नॉट प्रिवेंट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डेवलपिंग we have to take uh, the new technology as it is and the society created by that technology or the social structures created by that technology how do we uh, face the dangers how do we prevent the dangers that we have to tackle these questions we have to tackle in the new situation point is that uh, the point that i was trying to emphasize in my lecture is that now new technologies and new sciences are developing which are directly affecting the way our consciousness is being formed the way our consciousness is being formed this form method of formation of consciousness from uh, is is quite different from previous ways our consciousness emerged in certain conditions hamara ab tak ka jo consciousness hai wo khas condition mein bana tha lekin mera point ye hai hum ab pichle 40 50 saalon mein in 4 5 decades we have entered a new situation 
because of use of subatomic processes as <coughs> social force. This cannot be prevented. Now, for example, BCI, brain computer interface, is a new thing. It is going to spread. Kyoki is uh, spread karneki shakti. Its uses are there are many uses for uh, BCI. Uh, it is being used in medical science, medical field, and other fields. It is developing very fast. Now we must grasp that. And we must understand how to utilize that for social cause, social betterment, uh, and how to prevent that. There cannot be any ready-made questions for uh, ready-made answers for all the problems or all the questions. But the question is that we must realize and recognize the new developments that are taking place in the formation of the conscious. So is it a leap towards the unknown? It is a leap towards unknown as compared with present. But it was similarly a leap into the unknown when computers came into being. But now computers are very common. Similarly, the, uh, the technologies like the BCI, they are very new. There, there are implications that we do not know about those implications. But we have to be prepared for that implications. And for that, we have to master the science and technology of the things like BCI and all that quantum uh, application of quantum. Quantum was discovered in 1900, but it, has, it is becoming a technology and a practical social thing today. It has a lot of complications and a lot of implications for the future. We must be prepared for that. In coming five to ten years, the world is going to change. Uh, uh, drastically on the basis of new sciences, new technologies. Many uh, socio-economic uh, uh, questions are involved in that. How to use that? How to use that will be answered only by understanding the new technology. Thank you, sir. Railu, sir. Dr. Railu, sir, please go ahead, sir. Unmute yourself, sir, and please. Yes. I have forgotten. I have forgotten what I was supposed to ask and say. <laughs> in, the, in the plethora of super intelligent discussion, I forgot. Anyway, there is one very important thing which I want to mention here: that when you talk of a brain-computer interface, you know what uh, uh, the newspapers carried the article from the Elon Musk company and all that that they're experimenting. They don't have a brain-computer direct interface, as Mr. Vijay Kumar has said, that between the brain and the computer, there is again a machine language, even today. And they are saying that they will, as uh, Mr. Anil Rajumar has said, that at the sensitive area of the brain, they will place a chip with 14 strands, stretching at random, touching some uh, location of the brain, whichever will give uh, signal. So the experiments are going on. I don't know how much they have divulged. They have not yet told that whether the microchip can read the signals of the brain directly or the microchip can directly impact the brain's thought process that has not come. The first step will be whether microchip, the computer, and the brain can interact directly without uh, interpreted, interpreting machine language. This is the biggest challenge. As Again, as Mr. Vijay Kumar has rightly pointed out, uh, Mr. Stephen Hawking's interaction with the computer was through a machine language that could read the movement of his eyelids and some muzzle on the cheek and the electrode was placed on the muzzle on the cheek and the and some signal from the eyelids that would transform into a machine language and send a signal to the computer and that would generate a sentence but in case of brain computer interface what they are trying to do which mr anil rajinwale has mentioned that if that can happen 
then with a single program mr alan musk can control 1 million chip users in a country like india if mr mr narendra modi is able to plant this 1 million chips into 1 million voters he will say vote and they will vote this danger is there but they are not yet uh, divulging it and that interface has not come number one number two as already has been said the question of human wisdom stays and if by mistake humans themselves lose that wisdom then of course the future will be uncertain so that is a philosophical question how far you can let go the like for example when a fly, airplane is flying in reality the pilot can sleep sometimes because the airplane is an autopilot and it is controlled by the two control towers at the two ends and with that magnetic signaling the airplane flies so uh, the pilot is not controlling the airplane but then the pilot is supposed to be awakened because in case something goes wrong it is the wisdom of the pilot that will they save the flight not the autopilot so that wisdom content in every place like for example use of nuclear weapons it is only the human wisdom that can stop a nuclear war otherwise if we give everything to the artificial in intelligence uh, you know that the world was at uh, at the risk of 13 seconds from uh, world war 3 so human wisdom is of utmost importance in this situation also thank you anil sir if you want to say something while, yeah while agreeing with most of the uh, comments what i feel that uh, the participants are missing one very crucial point and that point is that how our consciousness is being formed today. Our consciousness has been so far formed during the Industrial Revolution, during capitalism produced by Industrial Revolution, during the debates, philosophical debates of materialism versus idealism and so on and so forth relativity, Newton's uh, gravitational laws and so on and so forth, Darwin's laws, wagera, wagera. but today we are faced with new kind of science and new kind of technology. We are going, we have entered uh, uh, technologies and science higher than computers, electronics and so on and so forth. Now, they're uniting with biology. The biology, physics, chemistry and all these, these sciences are becoming uh, at certain level, at certain level. One, they are merging and they are creating, my point is they are creating new kind of consciousness. If we do, we do not realize this, we will not be prepared for all the kinds of problems that are being raised by all the participants. The point is that human subject today is has started a new uh, path of development. It is a new kind of subject. It is not a subject which uh, uh, which was which was the product of industrial and all the previous uh, history we have entered a, a phase where uh, even capitalism capitalism is unable to prevent that phase we have entered a phase where time and space is uh, uh, creating uh, consciousness independent of what has been created earlier we have started a new journey we have started a journey at present unknown for the future but we have already started entered a new level new stage today's subject is not aaj ka karta karta jise bolte subject is not the same thing as say 40 years ago 50 years ago or 100 years ago in the last two, three decades, a new kind of subject 
and new kind of subject object relationship has already emerged now pitfalls are there dangers are there elon musk musk is there and others others are there but the point is that if we do not realize this then we will not be able to face the pitfalls also we, we will not be able to face the dangers also for example if quantum computers really come into being and become uh, the social force what will you do what we will do calculations will be many 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 times more than what is being done by today's computers i am talking in terms of social force i am talking in terms of society i am talking in terms of use by common people aam aadmi ke haath mein jab quantum computer pahunchega to kya hoga aaj se 10 saal baad 20 saal baad 50 saal baad 100 saal baad it will be a different kind of situation so uh, uh, i think that uh, uh, we we uh, need to see this development and i feel uh, that is that is at, at least that is my personal feeling that the bci has started a new stage of relationship between matter and consciousness many of the questions posed by earlier philosophies materialist as well as idealist are being solved today it is not an ordinary development it is not an ordinary development when we find that idea and creation of idea creation of consciousness is being proved to be material actually not in just philosophical terms matter is being dissociated into concrete sciences and concrete technologies and even idea is converted into a material force not just at social level but at technological and scientific level science ye dikha raha hai ki idea kya hota hai pehle philosophy dikhata tha materialist philosophy idealist philosophy ye dikhata tha idealist philosophy used to show that matter is sorry the idea is superior to matter lekin as science ye dikha raha hai science is showing proving that idea is material this is the new that is happening this did not happen during industrial revolution that is what i am uh, insisting uh, i will continue to insist in future also that idea is becoming concrete material it is being shown it is it is electrical uh, wave for example it is electronics it is quantum uh, processes that that the new technology is is uh, has is trying to show new technology is a, a very uh, it is a very fragile uh, it is very fragile at present abhi shuru hua hai usne abhi usne apna development shuru kiya hai lekin wo ye show karne ki koshish kar raha hai new technology ki ye jo idea hai ye ये ये क्वांटम प्रोसेस है ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोसेस है इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रोसेस है ये वेव्स हैं ये वेव्स वो पैरासाइकोलॉजी वाला वेव नहीं है इट इज नॉट टेलीपैथी इट इज एक्चुअल मूवमेंट ऑफ वेव पार्टिकल डुअलिटी फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जांपल सो वेन वी जो जो इम्पोर्ट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ बी सी आई इज दैट दैट आइडिया दैट दैट कॉन्शियसनेस एंड आइडिया इज एक्चुअली कन्वर्टेड इन टू मटीरियल फोर्स इट इज बिकम इट इज बींग शोन दैट इट इज मैटर और मटीरियल राधा नॉट मैटर बट मटीरियल इट इज मटीरियल आइडिया इज मटीरियल दैट दम दैट दैट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी शोइंग एक्चुअली शोइंग on the screen earlier it was a philosophical speculation 
that is the change that is a big change that is taking place the giant philosophers of industrial age and earlier they used to speculate philosophically on matter idea relationship they had to work hard uh, to establish that relationship today science and technology is actually establishing that process hum dekhte kaise hamara consciousness kya hum jab green tree ko green hare ped ko dekhte hain to uska conscious usko hum pehle kehte the ki ye reflection hai brain par utna keh ke chup ho jate the aaj hum ye show kar sakte hain ki the green tree actually acts on our brain create certain uh, physical chemical biological this that and the other uh, processes further processes deeper processes can be shown and that is idea idea is not something ide ideal consciousness is not something abstract it is concrete so that is the point i am uh, trying to make the other point i am trying to make it is new kind of subject new kind of subject is emerging now that subject how it will deal with elon musk or uh, uh, google or uh, caltech or others and uh, other giant uh, monopolies and all that financial uh, structures that is that is another question but those who are going to face this these kinds of social structures are different that subject is different now that is the point and that is a, in my opinion it is a very crucial point you have to understand the new subject lekin ek cheez isme hai amit Yes. I mean, time come hai. People are leaving, so uh -huh. take all the three remaining yeah. questions first. Yes, uh, yes. Only nine people are left. Oh, okay. Questions uh, lelo. Pehle questions lelo. Uh, Anil, Anil, Anil Savan sir. Anil yes. Savan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear me? Ha, ah, awaaz yeah. aa rahi hai meri. Audible sir, audible sir. You are audible sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, पहले आज का जो विषय है वो बहुत ही अलग किस्म का है और महत्वपूर्ण है और इस विषय में अनिल राजीव वाले जी ने जो मुद्दे रखे हैं वो बहुत ही संक्षिप्त में लेकिन महत्व जो है इस विषय के बारे में वो उन्होंने रखा है और उन कि जो सोच है उन्होंने जो सामने मुद्दे लाए हैं मैं उनसे आ, एग्री करता हूं और मुझे भी यही लगता है कि ये जो नया टेक्नोलॉजी आया है उसको समझ लेना जरूरी है और इसका जो भी प्रभाव होने वाला है जो भी अच्छा या बुरा वो अनस्टॉपेबल है वो होना ही है और इसलिए उसको समझ लेना ये आज हमारी जरूरत है आ, हमारे मार्क्सिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से उसको कैसे समझ लेना है वो एक और अलग चैलेंज है और मैं यहाँ एक, एक यहाँ मेंशन करना चाहूंगा कि आज दुनिया में जैसे ये क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी की डेवलपमेंट हो रही है वैसे ही फिलोसॉफी के और साइकोलॉजी के विषय में और बायोलॉजी के विषय में भी इतनी सारी डेवलपमेंट हो रही है कि एक नई सोच जो हमारी मार्क्सिस्ट आइडियोलॉजी का समर्थन करेगी इस तरह की डेवलपमेंट हो रही है और उसको ग्रास करके हमें उसका कैसे आ, आ, हमारी सोच में बदलाव लाके किस तरह से उसको उपयोग करेंगे ये हमारा चैलेंज है अभी जो ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस और चिप लगाने के बारे में जो विषय है उसमें 
जो कंसर्न्स बताए जा रहे हैं वो एक है कि आज जैसे मोबाइल आपका हैक हो रहा है तो कल को आपका ब्रेन भी हैक हो सकता है क्या देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि हैकर्स विल ट्राई टू हैक द ब्रेन्स विच आर हैविंग चिप्स दूसरा है कि तुम्हारे थॉट्स जो कम्युनिकेट हो रहे हैं ये जो सब सिग्नल्स है जैसे आज अभी ये सर्वर्स पे सब डाटा जा रहा है पूरा जो कम्युनिकेशन है वो सर्वर के थ्रू हो रहा है तो डाटा इज बीइंग यूटिलाइज बाय समबडी एल्स जैसे फेसबुक कैसे यूज करता है हमें सबको मालूम है तो मिस यूज ऑफ यूर न्यूरो डाटा ये एक कंसर्न बताया जा रहा है तीसरा है कि जैसे आज अभी हम मोबाइल का रिचार्ज करते हैं एक महीना दो महीने तीन महीने का एक ईयर का प्लान लेते हैं बाद में हमको रिन्यू करना पड़ता है तो ये रिन्यूअल सर्विस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भी करना पड़ेगा तो ये जो एजेंसी रहेगा दैट विल बी कंट्रोलिंग योर ब्रेन ऐसा हो भी एक सवाल सामने आ रहा है और एक सवाल आता है कि आइडेंटिटी जो भी व्यक्ति ये टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग कर रहा है उसके जो भी सब इमोशनल बिहेवियर है मूड से सैडनेस है कामने से एंग्री ये सब किसी के साथ शेयर हो रहा है और वो आइडेंटिटी के ऊपर भी कुछ ये जैसे कि अटैक या कुछ भी उसका दुरुपयोग हो सकता है क्या और सामाजिक स्तर पर ये दूसरा सवाल एक बताया जा रहा है कि किन लोगों के पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी पहुंचेगा या कौन लोग समाज के चंद लोग या कितने लोग ये टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग करेंगे और जो लोग इस टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग करेंगे उनका वर्चस्व रहेगा क्या जो आम लोग हैं जिनके पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं पहुंचेगी उनके खिलाफ इसका इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है क्या इस तरह के कुछ सवाल सामने चर्चा में है इसी को लेके एक दो मुद्दे कह के मैं रुक जाऊंगा एक है कि जैसे आज हम देखते हैं कि ऑर्डिनरी शॉपकीपर जो है वो आजकल जो खरीदारी करते हैं पैसा वापस देना है तो वो दिमाग से कैलकुलेशन नहीं करता है वो कैलकुलेटर पे कैलकुलेशन करके भी कितना बाकी पैसा है वो आपको देता है ये अभी ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन की एक बिहेवियर बन गई है तो ये सवाल आ जाता है कि ये जब ये जैसे अनिल राजीव मौल्य सर ने बताया कि ये क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी के कंप्यूटर आ जाएंगे क्वांटम टेक्नोलॉजी के मोबाइल भी आ जाएंगे तो फिर एक पूरा समाज इसके लिए किस तरह से तैयार रहे या नहीं तैयार रहेगा तो उसके क्या असर होगा ये सब सवाल है और एक आखिरी मुद्दा मैं बोल के रुकूंगा ये जो बताया कि पहले सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट का रिलेशनशिप था अभी बीच में एक वर्चुअल ये आ गया है तो ये इससे एक अलग तरह का एलियनेशन भी हो सकता है क्या क्योंकि जो रियल वर्ल्ड से एलियनेशन होना और उसके कारण क्या मनुष्य के दिमाग पर इफेक्ट होगा ऐसे मेरे मन में एक सवाल आए हुए हैं धन्यवाद यहां मैं रुकता हूं थैंक यू अनिल राजी माले सर ब्रीफ रिप्लाई सर नहीं सर सर मैं क्या कह रहा हूँ टेक टू अनदर क्वेश्चन आल्सो अनिल जी को आसानी होगी वो रिप्लाई देने में ओके ओके बिकॉज क्वेश्चन ओके ओके सर सो पिलाई सर इफ यू वांट टू से सम आस्क क्वेश्चन और यू वांट टू से समथिंग पिलाई सर आज अंदर कुछ बोल रहा था 
he has exited sir hello <coughs> yeah. hello yes yes sir. i hope you can hear yeah yeah you were audible yeah. sir i am tot i i remain totally confused after hearing all these things you know <laughs> totally confused what i have learned is consciousness is related to matter if there is no matter there can't be consciousness that is what i have learned but uh, the presenter in this discussion says that uh, ideas are material and ideas are matter or putting it simply idea is matter how can that be i think it is a and he says it is new to but i think it is a colorful interpretation of the platonic view <clears throat> plato has said whatever uh, you can perceive as a matter or some something material that is existing in the ideological world what is says is something uh, of a colorful interpretation or imagination of that view and mat there, there can't be consciousness without matter and philosophy is an idea philosophy is idea isn't it idea and philosophy is inseparable so uh, without matter there can't be ideas or there can't be consciousness I mean uh, philosophy and consciousness cannot be there without matter the brain is material without the brain how can there be consciousness and if it is uh, if it can be interpreted i don't know if he can uh, explain on that uh, matter it is almost i mean most most welcome uh, thing to me that uh, if uh, consciousness exists without matter or matter exists without consciousness let him explain on that point okay and every time every time we are we are we, we are bringing forth marxist philosophy and the marxist philosophy just just to uh, tell about uh, i mean dialectical materialism or something like that apart from that the implementation of marxist theory that is not there in the, anywhere in the world and everybody who is said to be implementing marxist theory they are totally deviating from that theory that is what is seen whether it is in china cuba or in a, i mean a so called left government that is ruling in kerala they are totally deviating from the marxist uh, conception of history please explain sir uh okay okay sir before uh, uh, anil sir will speak any ones have a question please ask your last question because we are running out of time i will uh, take one I, yeah, I am yeah, not yeah. yes yes sir please go ahead i am going to say about the idea that can be materialized see an idea is conceptualized first then it is planned and designed then it is developed and then it is materialized into a, a anything material this is the object now what bci is going to do it is raising the things just like bullock cart to rocketry we have reached so bci is bci is going to ascend these things an idea can be materialized in a very good time that's what i want to tell you so anil rajiv wale's apprehension is right it is going to be like that thank you uh, okay sir but uh, anil sir aapko uh, mauka dene se pehle krishna mam us samay kuch kehna chahti thi uh, i will take her last comment and then you can uh, please uh, reply sir krishna mam 
उस समय कहना चाह रही थी नहीं मैं तो यू ही कह रही थी कि हमारे मूवमेंट में एक शब्द एक वाक्य है आइडिया ग्रिप्स द मासिस सो व्हेन आइडिया ग्रिप्स द मासिस डज इट टर्न मटेरियल वेरी मच मटेरियल फोर्स ओके ओके मैम नाउ अनिल सर प्लीज रिप्लाई टू द क्वेरीज एंड क्वेश्चंस ब्रीफली सर प्लीज रिप्लाइंग टू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चंस विल टेक लॉट ऑफ टाइम but uh, i will be uh, yes, taking yes. Uh, all of them together and giving my comments instead of uh, replying as such okay so, idea has really gripped uh, the matter the matter uh, in the sense that matter ha has shown that idea is material and it has gripped the uh, individual's consciousness and uh, and through the individual it has gripped the masses it is going to grip the masses idea is going to grip the masses and become material so from technology to individual and from individual to the whole society that is the how uh, it is developing actually the all these questions are arising because uh, the philosophical questions are being uh, raised at a higher level of development we have reached a higher level of development of society of technology of uh, science and therefore many old questions are being raised in new new forms now consciousness and matter relationship is there very much there it continues to be there it continues to be valid but there are certain new aspects to that we have taken so far we have taken that consciousness and idea are reflection of matter correct but now it is just it is not just reflection it is concrete reflection reflection is becoming concretized and it can be shown that idea is not only reflection of matter not only there is a relation but that relation is is material relation in the form of uh, yeah, electronics and electricals and all that kind of thing and therefore uh, uh, i think that uh, unless we uh, uh, grasp this the scientific philosophy and scientific idea cannot be taken to higher levels uh, people talk about marxism dialectics and all that they have their own levels if scientific philosophy does not assimilate does not assimilate the new developments in sciences if materialist if if scientific materialism or philosophical materialism does not assimilate computer uh, science computer technology quantum philosophy relativity for example relativity is yet to be assimilated in scientific thinking general relativity and special relativity it is not yet assimilated that is a big lacuna in our thinking in the thinking of philosophy similarly the implications of computer science are not yet i don't think it is assimilated so far properly except here and there similarly the new developments in which are going to take place not yet taking place they are taking place very nebulous form but but developments in quantum science quantum science is not simply now quantum science alone it is going to become quantum technology and when science becomes technology it becomes a social productive force and therefore very soon in next 5 10 20 years there is going to be quantum technology and therefore we have to grasp this and we have to understand the what is going to happen in coming decade we have to be prepared for that otherwise this big vested interest will 
take advantage of it. So we have to be prepared for uh, new developments in science and, science, and science and technology. And therefore, when we talk about, uh, uh, about uh, these technologies, about the relationship between idea and matter, they, we are talking about them. At least I am talking, I am trying to point that out that they have to be talked about at higher levels. These levels were not achieved earlier. And that is how I try to contrast between industrial revolution and present day revolution that is going, we are going through. And we need to change our uh, many interpretations and many ideas according to what is happening now and what is going to happen in the next decade or so about nanotechnology, about quantum technology, about BCI and about so many other things. They have to be assimilated in our think, our generalization, our philosophical conclusions. I mean, these relationships, as he raised about consciousness, matter, and uh, many, many other questions that have been raised, they are very correct. But they are correct at certain level. They have to be modified. They have to be raised to higher levels. And we have we, we must be ready for much higher level, which are yet to come. That is what is science. Science is development. Science is not dogmatism. Science, science is continuous development. Science is dialectics, and dialectics is development. We have to be prepared for not only present dialectics, present developments, but, but its implications, its results in future. And that is what I uh, look at, that is how I look at science, scientific developments, and their results uh, as technological development. Technology is the result of science. So when, when a discovery is made as science, as scientific theory, it must result and it results into technological innovation. And that is what is happening today. Once it is innovated as technology, it will become, it becomes a social force. Uh, that is where I want to conclude that we have to be ready for the future. Thank you very much. So at this point of moment i think that we need continuous discussion on the different aspects of the uh, bci ai and quantum uh, uh, theories and development because these these one and half hour or two hours discussion is not enough more enough for this uh, debate and discussion so not at all uh, enough, not at all enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am fully agree with you, sir. And I will, uh, I will uh, request you once again in future that uh, you should deliver a lecture on the different implications of this technology, because there are many questions related with this topic. Or, abhi thoda sa last me ja karke thoda jada technical ho gaya. Bahut sare newcomers ko bahut sare terminology bhi bahut muskil hai samajna. So. We will also try our level best to simplify our language, language of philosophy, language of science. Yes. It, is, it, is, it is good news that our strength is going up to 30 participants right now. But 30 is very low because language is very 